So today is a very special day. I want to start with a little bit of a background of the Govardhan Puja. It is the day when we remember the very, very beautiful story and Leela of little Krishna when he is telling his father Nanda Baba, Oh Baba, why you always give the the prasad to the to the Indra? Why do you do the puja not to Govardhan? He is uh, our real uh, blesser and giving all the food for the cows, giving the water, giving all of this. So then uh, Krishna, little Krishna, was giving all these good advice. He was only a seven-year-old boy to his father, and so he was uh, trying it. He said, yes, try it. So we do this time puja to Govardhan, and that is celebrated today. And we see also in the temples, they make a beautiful Govardhan mountain, or some temples and in Vrindavan usually, they make a very beautiful Giriraj. And these days are there for us to remember the Leela and to remember all the moods that are in that Leela. And of course, as a Radha Dasi, we connect to Srimati Radhika. And um, we can meditate today how Srimati Radhika is so happy and Krishna, her Mohan, is so happy because for the first time they see each other openly. Because they were young kids, they have to hide all their affection, all their feelings. But today at this Govardhan Puja, Giri, Giri Raj, our, our, our Giri Raj, our Mohan, our Giri Dari, he was lifting it with the little finger. He was so powerful. But we know why he could lift it. It was the love of the Brajabhasis that make him, you know, have this desire to collect all his friends together under the mountain and to exchange loving Lee. He exchanged this love with the Nanda Baba and Yashoda Maya because they were feeding him and all the cowherd boys, they were holding the sticks to support Krishna. Oh, you don't have to do it alone. We will help you. And then we know Srimati Radhika and all her friends, they also support him by their sidelong glances. Just by this glance of love, they become, you know, so much supports of Mohan. So that is a very uh, beautiful day. Well, it's celebrated in Vrindavan and everyone is in a very happy mood because also when uh, Giriraj was worshipped, when the spiritual mountain that gives all the different moods and the feelings and the services to the cows, to the British Basis, to Radha and to her Mohan, then everyone becomes happy because it's not an exchange like in the form of with with Indra, like a deal. It's not a deal anymore. <laughs> because it was before like a deal. Okay, we give you the offerings, you give us the rain. It was like a fearful uh, deal. So that's why Krishna also told Nanda Baba, let's do it to Giriraj. He is the real, you know, our real hero. He gives us everything. We don't need to do it to Indra. Like this. Like this, we have just a little bit collection of the feelings of today because then it was like a happy celebration. Giriraj was accepting all the food and we know that Krishna and Giriraj are not different. And he could not stop eating. Even the Brajpasis was bringing more and more and more. Giriraj was telling, give me more, give me more, Anayor. So there's many, many beautiful uh, stories uh, about how Krishna is Giriraj, but there are more deeper stories, how Shimati Radhika is also Giriraj. And all these different Leelas, they have a very, very, very um, different levels of realizations. So that only for the glories of Giriraj today and this beautiful festival that is celebrated everywhere around the world. 
But with us, it is only noon. So we go here. We are lucky we have a temple nearby. We go in the afternoon to celebrate and dance around the mountain and, you know, remember how Srimati Radhika is putting her sidelong glance to Giriraj, to Govardhan, and to also um, her Mohan. And I have heard many things about that. It's a matter of feelings. But it's always about being completely, you know, in love with Radha and her Mohan in the service as a mandri for us. And how to support them that they can be together. And they are so happy because in their young age at that time, six, seven years, it was never possible to have a big celebration and to look at each other. They were so shy. They were so small. But this occasion gave them the chance to be under the big umbrella of love. And we have heard also in Jiva Goswami's books, there are many descriptions that this under the umbrella of love that was like becoming a very sparish, a special city for one week. They had beautiful exchanges and living under Giriraj was not like living in the mud and in the cold. No, in the spiritual uh, dimension, they had beautiful, beautiful halls of exchanging and dancing and cooking. So it was a special day, and that's why we are now remembering that. And meditating according to our realizations. Now I would like to uh, continue with the Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika of Shri Guru's service and initiation. So we are in the biography, in the life story, in the history of Naratam Das Thakur. And it's so amazing what he has uh, given to us in the form of his songs, of his prayers, and of his life history. Last week we heard that he met his Sri Guru in Vrindavan and also his Guru Lokanath Goswami had a dream where he saw by the mercy of Narata, of uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu that after a while he told him a prince named Sri Naratam will become your disciple. And he gave him initiation, he gave him the Maha Mantra, Jai Giriraj, Jai Gurudev, Jai Shirade, <laughs> Jai Sadvi, how are you? <laughs> Radhe Radhe, Jai Giriraj. Jai Happy Anakut, and we saw the pictures, you have a beautiful festival in Rundavan. Very nice. I heard you were so happy, Gurudev. So many preparations of Prashad and all the devotees were dancing and powerful kirtan. Radha Charan was sharing a little bit. And I also, we shared a little right. bit about the Giriraj Leela just in the beginning, the last, the fa last five minutes or so to have a little bit, you know, a feeling for the today's vibration. What is this day and what are we meditating on? And now we are again back to Srila Naratam Das Thakur. So he got the Maha Mantra from his Guru. And then there's this chapter about Sri Guru's service and initiation. To attain the special mercy of Sri Padlokanad, Sri Naratam rendered one service to him at the end of the night. With a broom, Sri Naratam would sweep the place where Sri Lokanath Prabhu went to evacuate. Then he would embrace the broom and lovingly weep, Ha, Prabhu Lokanath, Kripa Koro. Oh, my master Lokanath, be merciful to me. Before Sri Lokanath went outside, Sri Naratam had completed his work of cleaning the place and had hidden the broom. See, that is also sweet that he's hiding the broom. He's not showing off. Oh, look, what am I doing, Gurudev? 
<laughs> he's hidingly doing it so humble and so not expecting any honor or any reply. He just wanted to serve and embracing the broom like very, very humble. Oh, my master, Lokana, be merciful to me. Wondering who was serving such a menial service at the end of the night and considering it a great offense on his part to accept such, such service from a resident of Vrindavan, Prabhu Lokanath went out a little later on the other day and saw from a distance that Sri Narottam cleaned his place for evacuation like a bathroom outside in the jungle. Huh? with a broom. Standing silently behind Narottam, Prabhu Loganath saw how Narottam embraced the broom to his chest and anxiously wept. Then Sri Narottam saw Prabhu Loganath and offered his prostrated Dandavats in front of him his obeisances. Due to the menial service of Sri Naratam, the heart of Sri Lokanath melted and he told Sri Naratam to take a bath in the Yamuna and to come to him. Following Sri Gurudeva's order, Naratam took a bath in the Yamuna and Sri Lokanath took Naratam inside a grove to give him initiation in the Sri Kishore Gopal Mantra on the full moon day of the month of Shravan in August. Then he told Naratam to inform Sri Jiva Goswami Pad of the same, of his initiation, because he was actually also in the guidance of Naratam, uh, Jiva Goswami. Sri Lokanath Prabhu then gradually taught Srila Thakur Mahashai the means of Raga Nuga Bhajan. So that is again a deep point. Because all of us, we have gotten initiation. We have gotten the, the Harina. We have our Mala. We meditate on the deep meaning of it. But without the mercy of Sri Guru, without this deeper meaning of initiation and getting the knowledge of Raga Nuga Bhajan. It is very, very uh, possible that we stay on one certain level that is a, a good level, but we could go deeper. We all know this feeling. I want to go deeper. Please, Gurudev, help me that I can go deeper. I just don't want to dance around Giridaj without knowing why is it so special that Sri Mati Radhika gave her sidelong glance and why is it so special that they meet with the glances? How is that, you know, that I could serve like the bridge bosses? How could I develop feelings and not only perform my bhakti like a religious person. I do all the rituals, I do all the holidays, I go to the temple, I have a temple in my home, a little altar, but I would like to feel more. So that's why, even though Narottam Das Thakur, he was already blessed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by Nityananda, he had already ecstatic uh, emotions of divine love, but still, he went to Vrindavan to get initiated by Srila Lokanath Goswami. He was in deep bhajan. And bhajan is the level of bhakti where I absorb myself by the mercy of Sri Guru in my eternal spiritual uh, form. I try to, at least I try to. I practice it every day. I chant my mantras, but I want to feel more. I want to come closer. I want to 
serve in a way that is pleasing to Shimati Radhika and to my Gurudev. Internal service. And that is what Sri Guru is giving that Shimati Radhika arranges to Sri Guru through Sri Guru, who is a, a Dasi of herself. So please, everyone, if you feel you want to share or you have a question or you want to say, say something, or Gurdiv, correct us, help us. Today is a special day of mercy and we all have this desire to go deeper in our bhakti. We want to advance. We don't want to go backwards. But still, anyway, where we go, we want to go deeper into the moods of the Bridger Bhasis. So, when he got initiated, he got the means, he got the, the secrets or the key to Raga Nuga Bhajan. Oh, and Jayananda Maharaj, please also you help us. If you give any advice, you are so close to Gurudev, give us your mercy today. We need your mercy. And now in the next chapter of the life of Naratam Dastako, it is actually revealed how he is doing bhajan and how he got perfection in his bhajan. It's called Bhajan Siddhi, studying the scriptures and attaining a title. While Naratam Dastako thus studied the science of devotion, the science of bhakti, from his Sri Gurudev, he was once absorbed in bhajan, in a grove in Sri Vrindavan. When Sri Vrishapanu Nandini personally arrived and ordered him, Naratam, your eternal service will be to stir milk for my Pranabalaba when he comes in my kunj at night. So here we see or hear that Naratam Das Thakur was, of course, eternally liberated soul, but also being a sadhaka. He's showing us how to do sadhan, and not only sadhan, but raga nuga bhajan. So he, he was so absorbed that Shimati Radhika, like Gurudev always says, there is a local call with her, local, like very, sh very close by. She give him um, initiation also in her own way that she comes before him or her and gives him his eternal service. And that service is to make milk for her beloved Pranavalava. When he comes to Shimati Radhika's kunj at midday, oh sorry, I was saying midnight, but it's midday. So that's a beautiful service. Shimati Radhika, Guru is giving the connection, right? We hear it at the Gurudev, oh, it says he's navigator, he's showing the way. But then we have to do it, we have to also do our own meditations and go deeper. And then in this case, because Naratam Das Thakur is the eternal maidservant, Shimati Radhika was coming and telling, you are my eternal Dasi and your service is giving milk, making milk, cooking milk at midday in her kunj where they meet. This service is also rendered by my dear Saki Champakalata. Hence, I will call you Champakamandari. <coughs> so here we feel that Shimati Radhika is so close, they are already connected, that she herself is coming. In our ca case, it is very rare that Shimati Radhika will personally come and give our name and give our service. But we have the great fortune that we have 
I have my Gurdiv. He is so close and he is keeping me on the way. He is giving me closeness in this way. Because we are not qualified or so, you know, eternally connected already, like Srila Narata Thakur or Srinivas Ajaya. Because these were souls that were called already in the Leela. But we want to meditate the Leela. We are praying to Gurdiv, please uh, bless me so I can do my bhajan in all little small ways that I try to do in my little uh, conditioned uh, state of consciousness. You want to share on this, uh, Jainanda Maharaj? I think it is a very beautiful point. So, Radhe Radhe. So you are speaking so so nice, so so mm -hmm. so beautifully. So later on, let me, <laughs> you know, later on, if I have some feeling, I'll share because you are so beautiful. Nothing to. No, answer. no, no. <laughs> I need your support also, and we want the mercy of Rindava. So today we have a, a Gobardhan puja. Yes, please also share on this. Okay, a little bit we are share. And today, today uh, 56 preparation. Uh, <laughs> and Gurudev said, just seeing prasada, which offer to uh, Giriraj or Radha Mohan, Radha Mohan. So, and that seeing prasada we are purify, and we are tasting prasada also we are purify. Wow! And today this morning uh, we have read the very nice a uh, sentence. Uh, you know, uh, ninety three bus Birapak Sumanjari. So Radhika pleased with uh, her maid servant service. So Radhika was thinking, oh, let me give something to, to Torasi Manjari. And then Radhika got better, better nuts, better leaf from Mohan. And mm -hmm. then Radhika was, Radhika was, you know, like see around is anybody watching me or not and then nobody watching radhika so radhika was you know put from her mouth to torasi's mouth give to uh, this tambura uh, better better leaves so, Gurudev used to say, Nabel to Nabel relationship. You know, like a mother and a baby. So, this time, like a mouse to mouse relationship. It's so intimate. And today, you know, we are a tasting today's Govardhan Puja, so, Annakuta Festival. So, we feel, oh, this is a uh, uh, Radhika tasting, Mohan's Prasada. Then Radhika give me in this Prasada. And this kind of meditation make us so happy. You know, at the time, oh, Radhika, when Radhika will give me this tambura, better leaves to, from your mouth to my mouth. I'm not the male body, I'm your kinkari body, your maid servant. So in that meditation, you know, it, it helps us to, to feel more. Today Gurudev say, spiritual life means go bardam, increasing space, uh, spiritual sense power We greed. To practice Raga Bhakti, 
we need this greed and strong desire. Only qualification is like this. So today is our meditation from morning to you know noon time. This we tasting ha adara murita. So that is our you know humble meditation. Rade rade. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing this and giving us also these feelings that we have a deep uh, meditation according to my feelings. And yeah, where do I get these feelings? We get them from the sadhus. <coughs> that is important. <laughs> Otherwise, there is not so much juice. There is not. This is so dryness. But you give the highest feelings, Jainanda Maharaj, and we are very, very thankful. Thank you so much. How we can today meditate on this Adanamrita, the, the lip service, the flying kisses of Prashad. And of course, we, say, we see the nice preparations on the Govardhan mountain and that we are offering. But the deeper meaning is to get the prasad of Shimati Radhika's lips that have been touched by Mohan's lips and that this prasad is transferred and how we are connected to that and how we can also <coughs> learn how to feel it, at least in theory. Mm. But also we aspire to go in that direct um, vision or get some sporty or get some feelings how that prashad is so powerful that even by looking at this prashad I get purified by uh, cooking and offering it I get become I become more closer every day every minute I can feel more and more I belong to my Swamini and she is giving me her remnants. Mm -hmm. That is the deepest meditation. And yes, thank you for sharing. I was also listening this morning. This class was very, very deep and very sweet. That is the deepest meditation that how can I serve Swamini and how she is also reciprocating so closely and so intimately with her dasis. Why by looking prasad, Jashi Rade? Why by looking prasad we are so blessed? Well, because this prasad remembers us how we cooked it, how we prepared it, in which feelings we are preparing this prasad. <laughs> And how Rata and Mohan are uh, enjoying our preparations. And so when we see this prashad, it remembers us on our feelings and on the feelings of Radha and Mohan. And then we get these feelings only by looking. Even not touch, not eat, only looking. Because we see with the spiritual eyes that are empowered by the Guru. These are spiritual senses. And these spiritual senses get the blessing of the Prashad. Right? And that's why today also we are asking for the blessings. We are praying and begging that, O oh, Gurudev, be merciful to me, O oh, Vaishnavas, give me a, a drop of your realization, of your love, that I can also become a good servant of Srimati Radhika, of Gurudev, of the Vaishnavas, of Radha Mohan. These prayers and these feelings are all our treasure and our hopes. And today is such a good day to connect And Narottam Das Thakur is also absorbed in these feelings. He wants to 
observe Swamini and Swamini is directly appearing in front of him and telling him, you are Champaka Manjari. Your service is to cook milk when we, my beloved Pranavalaba, are in the kunj at midday. Receiving this order to serve, Sri Naratam attained external consciousness. <clears throat> he came back, like, you know, in Bhajan, we go completely inside. And that is called, um, I got, Antar. It is inside, you know. The inner consciousness in the feelings to my spiritual senses. That is the meaning of Govardhan also. To come to my spiritual senses. Go are the senses also. And Vardhana is to uplift the consciousness to spiritual uh, perception and spiritual senses that will connect us to the service of Sri Radha Mohan. And so Naratam Dastaka wanted to share when there's something happening like this, it is so exciting. And he went to his Gurudev and told him with stuttering voice and a heart filled with ecstatic love what had happened. When Srila Goswami Pad, Lokanath Goswami, heard of Sri Naratam's fortune. He became most ecstatic and gave his personal confirmation on the service. So that is also interesting, the personal confirmation of Sri Guru. Because sometimes we also have some dream or some realization, some feelings, and then we are not so sure. But Naratam Das Thakur, he got confirmation, yes, it is so. You are so lucky. Gurudev was so happy when uh, he can feel that disciples are coming closer to their spiritual senses. Yes, you are Champaka Manjari. When Shimati Radhika gave you a service, now you know what is your service. And Gurudev is so happy when any of his disciples are going more into the feelings of Raga Nuga Bhajans. And if they are going so deep that they have their own experiences and we can share them with Gurudev. Actually, Gurudev is waiting for this. He's hoping and praying for this. What does it mean, give me your mercy? Bless, blessings to do more deeper um, practice. <clears throat> One day, Naratam was mentally stirring milk. So we hear again how he is doing it in his mind, in his internal uh, conception of I am a Dasi of Srimati Radhika. Now I will go and make the milk that she ordered me to make. Mentally, inside. And worse, at the same time, in Beholding the transcendental pastimes of the divine pair so that the milk boiled over. <laughs> so that's also amazing. He's stirring the milk, but at the same time, he looks at the Radha Mohan if maybe some service is needed. <laughs> and the t t pastime is so amazing that he lost. <laughs> control of the milk <laughs> and the milk boiled over and burned his hand in his mentally in his mental meditation the milk boiled over and burned his hand as we know that milk cooking milk is super super hot it's very very easy that we can burn our fingers and burned his hand, something which he could see and feel also in the external world. 
So when he came out of his meditation, he also still had this burning on his hand that, you know, became also burned. It's like a mystical experience that in his spiritual uh, reality, in his spiritual body, he became so connected with his Sadaka Deha that was already like one. So we have heard many um, Leela's stories of, of highly exalted Vaishnavas, Siddha Purushas, who had this experience that when oil was spilled or garlands have been brought from the other world, from that spiritual realm, and they had them when they are back in their sadaka, deha and consciousness, when they become again, you know, open to teach it to the um <clears throat> to their disciples and to the surrounding devotees that there is a spiritual dimension and we can connect it and I have brought prashad from there I have brought messages I have brought you know all the different symptoms that are possible when we connect uh, in our mentally conceived spiritual body with our spiritual senses to our services that needs to be done there. We have example of Rupa Goswami. Uh, we have example of Jagannath Das ba Babaji. We have so many examples that devotees who are going deep in their bhajan means in the spiritual uh, reality are bringing back the symptoms, the smell, the feelings, and even like Naratam Das Thakur, a burned hand. Shrimati Goswami Pad was most happy when he saw Shinaratam achieving Bhajana Siddhi. So again, this is a very important word, Bhajan Siddhi. What does it mean? Siddhi means perfection, and Bhajan is that internal meditation. And he got so blessed because he was bringing the symptoms that he had in his spiritual body back to his sadaka vish, to his sadaka uh, body. So we can see and feel that there's this oneness, and that is also explained in Bhakti uh, Rasamrita Sindhu, I think, that yes, the bodies, our material bodies become spiritualized. It's not that this body is, is uh, always staying the same when we do our sadhan, our services, and our when Guru, Shiguru is happy with us and we do our services to Radha Mohan, then there can be the day and the feeling of perfection when we are not having any difference anymore between our material, so called material body, and the spiritual body. And that state is called Bhajan Siddhi, perfection of our meditation. In Raganuga Bhajan means in the feeling of belonging to Swami. And that belonging feelings, they they have a reality, they have they carry me, us and all those who are meditating on this to the spiritual dimension. So Jiva Goswami was also the teacher of Naratam. It was the time after Mahaprabhu of Tonalitai. Many had left already from this planet Earth, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. And Jiva Goswami, who was the youngest of them, he was now the, the teacher of all the other students who came to complete the sharing and distribution of the Rasa Shastras. And not only sharing the Shastras, but living it, feeling it, and distributing it to all the living entities who are aspiring to follow Mahaprabhu's, Goranga's teachings and the mercy that is open now to receive this appearance of Radha and Krishna in that one person. And with the mercy of Srimati Radhika, everything is possible. So, 
the distribution was going on. <clears throat> Jiva Goswami was so happy again. And they all uh, blessed again, more blessed. Gopal Bhatta, all of them, their great mercy upon Sri Naratam. So we see it's not like, oh, once I am blessed. No, but it's going on. The blessings are continuing and the blessings are increasing. The mm -hmm. blessings are never stopped. It's like, even in this material world, if I have a job and I'm good of it, good in it, then I get some blessings from my colleagues, from my boss. So what to speak if Shimati Radhika is the boss? <laughs> And then we can upgrade, you know, we get higher salaries, we get more responsibility. So also Lokanath Goswami was so happy with his disciple and Jiva Goswami and all the Goswamis that were there at that time, that Narottam got more blessed and he, by each blessings, he became more and more um connected to his eternal spiritual existence and could also share it. And that's why we are so lucky today that we have this Prema Bhakti Chandrika. So then uh, Narottam, Sri Narottam studied also, went on studying. And that's also important. And I feel also I have a question because why is it that he had Bhajan City and he's still uh, studying more and more? Isn't that a, a stage where we are only in Samadhi? What do you feel about this uh, Jayananda Maharaj? Or anybody? <laughs> Who are they? Can you Can you share on this? He was studying Srimad Bhagavatam and the six Sandabhas, Sri Rupa Goswami's dramas, and Sanatan's Brihad Bhagavatamrita, and the other Siddhanta scriptures from Srimad Jiva Goswami part. Well, I guess, yes, Gurudev, can you say? <laughs> okay, yes, okay, Gurudev, yes. So, I mean, when I was asking the question, I got some answers, I guess, from Gurdiv also. That because it was his service. When Shiguru says you have to go on learning this and that, then we do it. Even if we have already a great realization on the service of Srimati Radhika. But we all know Srimad uh, Narata Amdas Thakur, it was his service together with Shyamananda Pandit and uh, what's his name? Srinivas Acharya, to distribute the, the knowledge of the Bhakti Rasa scriptures. And so that's why we sometimes get services that feel, that I feel, my God, why? But Sri Guru always has a plan with their disciple and they give the services according to the way how they want to use their disciples because we always pray that Sri Guru Dev, please make me your puppet. Let me... Uh, serve according to your desire. So here we see in Naratam Das Thakur's case, he was ordered to, to study more and to distribute it later on. And seeing the grave purports of the scriptures were easily understood by Sri Naratam, who was, after all, the object of the personal grace of Sriman Mahaprabhu and Sri Vishabhanu Nandini, Srimad Griva Goswami was very happy. And after due deliberation with the Vaishnavas, granted Sri Naratam the title of Taku Mahashai. So here we have actually the answer. I'm always a little bit, um, how do you say? <laughs> I cannot wait. <clears throat> but here it is says that actually Naratam the Taku, he had already uh, such a deep realizations of the scriptures, even when he came to Earth's planet as a sadaka. He, he was just reviving, receiving it from inside and easily catch up with all of it. And Jiva Goswami, he was so happy with this disciple who was blessed 
from you know before because he was blessed by Mahaprabhu by Shrimati Radhika. There was no contradiction. He didn't really have to learn the scriptures. He received it from inside. So that is a difference, right? Sometimes we think we have to learn, but we know there is this one verse. I don't know which scripture it comes from. No, mukam karo tivajalam pangum langaya te grim yat krepa tamaham vande shigurum dina taranam. That even a lame or a blind person can see, a lame can walk, and all these gifts they come by the mercy of Shiguru, and they come in due time. They come at the at the right moment. But for myself. I still do my sadhana, I still do my homework, you know, like I don't receive it eternally, like like spontaneously from before. I don't have so many good samskaras, not so many good um, sukritis. But Narottam Das Thako, he was already blessed by, like I said, Goranga and Srimati Radhika in that form. So everything became so easy to him. He was like just, uh, you know, some people they have from past lives, they have so many uh, already impressions in the chitta. They can learn language easily. Or like Mozart, he can play already the piano. What to speak of a Dasi of Shimati Radhika? When Braja Parikanama. Braja Parikrama going to Bengal, the theft of the books and the recovery of the books. Following the order of Shijiva Goswami Pad, Srila Naratamdas Thakur Mahashai performed the 48 Krosh Parikrama, the complete circumulation of Raja Mandala with Srinivasa Chaya and Srila Raghava Pandit the associate of Lord Gora who lived in a cave in Govardhan Hill. Now he had a title, Thakur Mahashai. That's why we call him Srila Naratam Das Thakur Mahashai, means great soul or great, you know, blessed personality. Mahajan. So they went to worship uh, Raj by circumulation parikrama with uh, Shrinivasa Chaya and Raghava Pandit. This is described very elaborately in the fifth wave of the scripture Bhakti Ratnakara. Though so we know that some devotees at that time also they kept, um, how do you say that, diaries hmm? where they also write down what happened and then these diaries would were given from one generation to the next. That's why we have nowadays like the Bhakni Ratnakara or the, the, the diaries of Swarup Damoda about his uh, uh, life with Mahaprabhu. So many diaries have been there from the disciples of the disciples of the Goswamis. And so we are blessed. And we can also, if we feel attachment to the life stories and hearing about the life stories, we, f we can uh, read them and meditate on them. That gives us faith in the uh, process of bhakti. And we can connect from heart to heart when we sing, for example, Naratam Das songs. We can connect and pray also directly to Naratam, to Champaka Manjari. Please help me in my bhakti. Please give me also a drop of your mercy that I can more and more realize who I really am. Shortly after that, Duki Krishnadas, who had uh, taken initiation from Srila Ridai Chaitanya, who had in turn taken shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Sri Pandit, came to Sri Vrindavan from the village of Dandak Keshwara in Orissa. So we hear here that Shyamananda Pandit also arrived. They were like a three 
um, spiritual musketeers. They were always together learning and inspiring each other and they had a very beautiful deep relationship. We know we have heard about the life of Shyamananda Pandit and he became also blessed. He also had the mercy of Shimati Radhika. And we have all there, you know, like Srinivas Acharya. He was also, we have the Sri Guru Vanda now, we have the, the Samsara prayers. I think they are from Srinivas. No, which one is it? Ah, no, the Srinivas Acharya was writing the songs about the Goswami's life and how they did bhajan. Ha, Devi, Kaku. Like all these songs that give us these deep feelings and these feelings, they don't come from myself. By the mercy of Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas, these feelings come from the Goswamis, those who are the Amandaris of Srimati Radhika. And they blessing us by singing their songs or reading, reading their songs, meditating. We have also like a local connection to them. That is the goal and that is like um, why I like to share with this life story of Srila Narottam Das Thakur because all of the of the prayers they are from his heart from his realization from his local calls to Srimati Radhika his local and close 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 uh, person to person uh, exchanges and they come down here to our planet Earth and they help us to connect and to feel the desire to connect. Because even to become connected, it needs these desire, you know, these... Usually when I'm connected with my material senses, then there are always desires how to make them happy. But now we try to make our spiritual desires grow. Go Vardhan. That is the today's meditation. And so we feel that we got blessed, that we listen to Naratam Das Thakur's, you know, mercy life. He had a life full of mercy, but it was also not so easy. He walked by foot and he had to always be in these deep feelings of separation. He could not meet Mahaprabhu by person. He was going... He was always a little late, but he was always in a local call relationship with them because of his eagerness, because of his desires that became, you know, crazy. So much rati. And he was expressing it in his songs. And so today we pray that also I may become a little bit crazy by hearing about of feelings and more, you know, giving up all my material sense desires by the mercy of Sri Guru and Sri Govardhan, <laughs> Sri Mati Radhika's beloved Govardhan. She wants us also to come to our spiritual identity and include us in her service team. Anyone has a question on this or would like to share? Don't be so shy. Everyone cooking today. <laughs> cooking, na, <nah>, Labanga? <laughs> I see you are cooking. <laughs> for us, it's the time now to start cooking for Govardhan, Giriraj. So many to Govardhan. <laughs> cakes, big cakes. Jai. Jai, Govardhan, ki jai. <laughs> jai, Shirade. <laughs> and, listen, and listen, your beautiful speech. Thank you, Suniti. You inspired me so much. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for coming and sharing your love and your beautiful paintings that are expressions of this beautiful love and feelings for Srimati Radhika. So now we have this hint today that this day is for the spiritual senses, for helping Shimati Radhika in her service. She wants us to do some special service and Shiguru is helping us to come closer to that realization of which services needs to be done. And today we can dance around Govardhan and we can think about what Jayananda Maharaj was sharing. Just to see this prasad is giving so much feelings. Feelings of how it was prepared, feelings of how Srimati Radhika is giving it to Mohan and how she is receive, receiving the remnants and feeling his feelings and giving this also to her mandaris. The feelings of their love, the feelings of our connection to that love and the desire to develop my spiritual, eternal body, identity and service. That is the deepest meditation on today's Shigovardhan Puja. 